Hi Capricorn, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for December 2017. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If the messages do not resonate, please check your other signs. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, just check the description box below. All of the information is there. I have two ways that you can reach me. So let me get started with your reading. What are the messages for love for Capricorn for December 2017? Cards are flying out. And I'm not going to take it because um, my deck is upside down. If that card that you saw is meant to come out again, it will. Messages for Capricorn for love for December 2017. Hmm. Six of Cups. The Hanged Man. I feel like I'm going to shuffle this more. The Emperor. Ten of Rods. The King of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Page of Rods. Three of Rods. And your outcome. And I will pull more cards for clarification as I go if I feel like uh, we need it <laughs> okay so the cards that I'm using for the overall energy are the angel oracle love romance cards so what is the overall love energy for December 2017 for Capricorn Okay, so you have the attraction card. And this card says you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So the message for December, Capricorn, is for you to be present to love during this, this time period. Okay, um, for if you're single, if you're dating, or if you're meeting people, it's really to just enjoy the enjoy the moments, enjoy what is coming to you. Don't think too hard. Don't overthink. Don't overanalyze the situation, especially with the holidays here coming. Uh, try to be in this this energy of just fully of love you know um see how she's she just is smelling the roses she is engaged in the present energy of what that rose is doing for her so it's really just saying for you to not worry really that's the message i mean that's not really what the card says but that's what the message is that's coming through for me the more engaged you are in that love energy the the more romantic love you will attract okay so if you're not trying to control a situation or you're not you're not trying to fix this and fix that but to just fully enjoy whatever you know for instance you're you're walking down the street and you see roses you know it's the old saying take that it's so cliche but take the time to smell the roses and just be fully present to the beauty of that okay so let's really just get to your reading so your past energy here is the ten of rods okay so a lot of you have felt overwhelmed in the past when it has come to love this is a burden card but for me i feel like the message here is that you have placed burdens 
on yourself and that's probably why that attraction card and everything I was saying about it I feel like a lot of you Capricorns have been really just you're hard workers and and you work hard in love you know what you put in is what you expect out and of course you should and I always talk about expectations you know keeping your expectations low because you never know what life will bring but I feel like for you guys and this is a general reading so I just feel like there's this energy where you've you've really been placing undue burden on yourself you know maybe maybe you've been working so hard if you're single to meet someone and you've been really putting the energy out there and you're maybe you're you're too focused or you're too overabundant in trying to find someone and 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 placing that burden on yourself instead of just taking the gifts that are coming to you and enjoying them fully instead of trying to make mountains out of molehills you know um for example if you're single you meet someone and you are already aware that you would like a relationship but so you are having an expectation that each person you meet uh it, it's not that you shouldn't have that expectation because of course why would you if, if you're looking for a relationship why would you take anything less but trying to manipulate someone that you meet um, too quickly into um, falling into the the bucket of what you want right and so that places too much burden on yourself instead of just letting things flow and letting things be and I feel like that's past energy for you I feel like you've just kind of like it's a 10 so you're you're at, you're like I'm done with that I'm not you know I see you may have been just feeling like you know you're not going to do that anymore it's it's too it's too overwhelming for you now the present energy going into December is the six of cups so you're thinking about someone from your past or there's someone from your past who's thinking about you okay or you're longing for someone from your past this card can also be a reunion card so some of you could have this energy where, you know, maybe you, you are thinking about what once was, uh, but having difficulty accepting the, the past, a past relationship or uh, the way things maybe used to be with a partner or someone that you may be with now. Okay. Um, the hanged man is always a card about acceptance, you know, Sometimes we're in situations, we're not happy about them, but we really can't do anything about them. And you're having dif having difficulty in going into December accepting that maybe something didn't work out or a particular person you're dealing with is just not going in the direction you want or there's a lack of um, them committing or, or you know, and, and it's frustrating for you. You know, even though you're coming away from that, you know, that some of that is still blending into December. Okay. Some of you just have this longing for a special kind of love. You know, this, this is that dreamy state. This is that dreamy, romantic, kindness, loving energy. And maybe you're dealing with someone now that isn't really giving you what you want okay some of you could be dealing with an earth sign another earth sign doesn't have to be this is what's on your mind this is what's crowning you this is like you know at the top you're some of you could be so if you're dealing with this person they're very stable uh, they're business oriented. This could be someone you're looking for if you're single, if you're involved with this person. They're they're pretty much all business. <laughs> they don't really, they don't have that, uh, they don't go out of their way with that romantic, with romantic gestures like say the King of Cups or the Knight of Cups. This person, 
could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This could also be your energy. We're on your mind. You could be so at this point where you're just like, eh, I'm done. You know, I'm still dreamy. I want a relationship, things like that. But you could also be like, you know what? I'm just going to focus on business right now, or I'm just going to focus on work, male or female. And I also see that down here with the emperor, which is driving you. Okay, this is this is an authority figure. You know, the emperor is not mushy. <laughs> um, so some of you could be starting a business with someone. And so taking on the energy of the emperor, and I often feel like the emperor is... Uh, you know, king of the castle. He's this is he's sitting in his place of business. This is, you know, I do really feel like that's what's happening with you right now. You're very focused on work. And this, so I, I don't have a lot. The only cup card I here have is this five of cups. Okay. I, and the message is coming through to me right now. Don't give up on love. Don't give up on it. You want to work. I understand. It's It feels better for you. I can't remember hold my cards right. It feels better for you. You don't get hurt. You can stay focused on work. I get it. Um, the Six of Pentacles is telling me coming up in the near future, if you are focused on work, and even though this is a, a love reading, this it, this does pertain to you that, you know, if you're trying to start a business, you could be receiving money or receiving a loan. You could also be dealing with someone who wants to give to you. Again, I was saying this earth sign. So you could be dealing with someone who you might have someone that, that gives to you in a monetary way, but uh, they give gifts and things like that. They, they're not like, you know, chasing you around, hugging and kissing you all the time. Their love style could have to do with material things. So there could be some of you who could be meeting an earth sign or thinking about this is the type of person that you wish to be involved with uh, someone who's like-minded like you and that person could be coming through for you because I kind of just look at this king and I think or, well he's not a, he could be a king this could be this could be the emperor and the empress uh, two people helping you this could also just be that male female energy combined in one that someone is giving their love by helping you or this is just the person that you're dealing with who sees maybe that you're struggling or there's struggle in the relationship and they want to help you uh, get on your feet it's their way of sharing their love, their way of, you know, um, sharing and showing how they feel about you by caring for you that way. And again, with the attraction card, it's like, you know, enjoy that. Take it for what it is. If someone's coming in or if you're dealing with someone that wants to offer, I don't really feel like you're you're going to be too upset if this person isn't um, sending flowers to your door or giving you a box of chocolates. I think this is okay for you, and I feel like it will be okay for you with them. But you know, you're you're there's this emotional part of you is mourning maybe the loss of someone from your past or. Um, But you're not cold, you're not stone cold, and you do want that love. Um, and maybe there's this, the advice is to not, to see the bigger picture with someone. When someone's giving something or they're offering something to you, see the bigger picture of what they're offering. 
and asking yourself, you know, okay, so they don't they don't express their love the way I would like them to, do, but they express it in different ways. So is that okay? And the advice is to not stay stuck in that morning energy and and to look back here and see you know there's all these cups still there's an there's an open doorway someone's offering their love to you in some way to move forward with them whether you're single or in a relationship and it could be this king of pentacles this could be someone you already know as i was saying someone from your past maybe you just have this you know you were trying to manifest something with them and it didn't go the way you wanted but you let you'll be letting go and now it's it's actually coming to you because you're letting go and you're just enjoying the moments or you're just enjoying what it is that you're getting and i feel like there's going to be you could be messaging with someone okay for those of you who are single could be this king of pentacles reaching out to you another earth sign or it doesn't have to be it could be anyone someone in their 40s or 50s maybe 60s uh dark hair they could have a beard if it's female you know dark hair maybe a little hairy <laughs> so i feel like this person is going to be they're they're they want to know what you're up to they want to know what you're doing they want to reach out to you they're sending they'll be sending messages these are like action messages so i feel like for those of you who are getting involved in some type of a project or something new uh could be work related there's going to be someone you're going to meet if you're single who is going to be very dreamy for you and this person maybe has the funds or the ability to help you and if this is your partner you know this person this is what they want to do they um not every tarot card reading has to be about reconciliation or someone hurt me are they going to come back um you could just have a partner who is you've been trying to get them to be more emotional with you and they're just not like that okay so that as i was saying they reach out in other ways they reach out to you in more material ways to show their love and i feel like with this card showing up here and this is the other person there this this person it, the page of rods can be like crush like or someone that's just really enthralled with you they just want to talk to you they're really they just love your energy and they love how strong you are and they want to i feel like make plans of some sort with you and you're here hoping that things will progress and hoping that there will be more communication you're here you know with this three of rods looking out you know i always feel like with this card he's sending out transmissions and he's waiting for them to come back like an echo okay so you are you know and you're fearing that you'll put your energy out there again and you won't get anything re in return but you're hoping that you will okay and so this is looking forward into the future seeing what's out there seeing the bigger picture and i feel like for the month of december you're going to be really expanding your horizons when it comes to love you know you may you may be meeting someone who is not your typical uh person that you would be with and you might actually not out of desperation but you might actually say hmm you know maybe i shouldn't overlook this person maybe there's more to them than what i dream of maybe it's even better than what i dream of you know um which is why it's really important with this card for you to you know be in the moment you will attract what you want by not judging the situation if you're looking for love if you're single you will attract that by 
not having like a pre-qualification of a particular person. I'm not saying that you have to lower your standards. Of course not. You should always keep them right where they are. Um, but maybe take a second look. I almost feel like take a second look. And even if this is your partner, take a second look at your partner. You know, you could say to yourself, well, you know, they, they don't really... They don't hold me enough. They don't love me enough. They don't kiss me enough, things like that. But maybe that's just not their love style. So ask yourself if what they do give you, you know, is that love as well? Now your outcome card is the Knight of Rods. So this is real. This Knight of Rods goes from the Page of Rods. This person reaching out to you through messages or what have you matures into the Knight of Rods. So here they come sometime towards the end of December. And this is someone who's going to be a lot of fun for you. Okay, if you're single. This is someone that really likes to, they have this witty energy, this banter, very much like yourself. And this is someone who's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to have a lot of fun with this person. They have a lot of great energy within them. They, they're, you know, they move forward. Uh, are they going to stay in your life forever? Uh, knights usually don't have staying power. Kings have staying power. But you've got a king of pentacles here. So I feel like they will. Well, I don't want to say forever, but they do have staying power. This could be just then their energy where they... Knights are charging. <laughs> they're, they have charging energy. And if you, you know charging energy doesn't stay put it's just constantly moving so i feel like for you their energy is going to come through where you know if this is the person that you're dealing with you're going to see an improvement in in the relationship with them because because of what you do because you're willing to accept you get to this point of difficulty accepting to now being able to receive what they have to offer and because of that then they come forward i just want to pull one more card for the five of rods just because i'm curious to clarify that um it's kind of like competitive energy but it's not it's not the five of swords where it's brutal this five of rods energy is just meeting your match is re really what i feel like or the person that you're dealing with truly is your greatest match like you guys fit and the ace of swords okay so this person is going to be very truthful with you and will want to manifest something new with you okay something honest a new beginning in communication with this person and and, an, and a way to overcome if there's any kind of obstacles you know um i feel like this relationship you'll be able to overcome whatever difficulties you may have dealt with with this person in the past and if this is someone new and you find yourselves to be a little bit at edge with each other uh, you'll overcome that so just remember for this time period this energy is telling you to just be present in the moment stop and smell the flowers smell the roses absorb all uh, all of of the loving gifts and things that come to you during this time don't think about the negative you know clearly she is absorbed in the senses the smell the touch she's giving this to herself as well okay she's not focused on the walls she's not focused on anything else but the senses so enjoy that and you will attract this to you whatever whatever it is that you were hoping someone would bring to you they will start to bring that to you when you just lighten your energy and just enjoy the moments that you have to be present fully to them. I'm repeating myself. So, okay, Capricorn, I'm going to end your reading. 
Thank you so much for your likes and subscribes. And again, if you wish for personal readings, check the description box below. And I will see you all in the new year. Take care. Bye.